and which are in the or two pi are kind of And this is this gives us the representative, I mean, of the this uh, integral from all the class. <coughs> so finally, if we if we exponentiate this, this lambda, we get some G's, which are now local maps on the quadruple intersections to the U1 group, and we get this cosine condition for these G's. Well, so this is known under the name check two cosine. So if now we can collect the objects we have introduced. So we have to remember on the our local B, then we have on the double intersections our A's and on the triple intersections our G's. And uh, so mathematicians would tell you that this is representative of the linear class. Now for, for us, at least for, for this talk, I would say that uh, I mean, this is the way how you can think, one way how you can think about the Abelian Wanger. Abelian Wanger would be defined by the, this cosycle, Tuche cosycle, G alpha beta gamma, uh, A alpha beta gives you something what you should call a connection on this Abelian gel, and B alpha, our B field, is uh, what is called uh, curving of the Abelian gel. And uh, our globally defined preform H is the curvature or the chain class, the chain class of the gel. So now, uh, make it even more, more familiar. So I put this remark here. Uh, you can ask, because I told you what the Berlin 2 class is, so you may ask what the Berlin 1 class is. So if you look at this uh, cosycle, all the cycle conditions I gave you, so you go from uh, 2 to 1, so this means you have to go with everything, one, one, one less. So you have uh, in the Berlin one class, you have one less object, and correspondingly, you have one less index. And also, the forms get uh, degree one less. So, what the Berlin one class is, it is just the uh, cosine of G alpha beta, U1 valued, which satisfies this one check cosine condition and A alphas, which uh, are related on the double intersections by the gauge transformation with, with G. So you see that the, the Lin 1 class is what you know as a line function with the connection, and uh, the D, the uh, chain class, or the curvature of the, the Lin 1 class is exactly the chain class of the line function, the curvature of the line function. So you see that from this point of view, uh, Abelian Wander is uh, one step higher in the hierarchy, which is described by, by the linear cohomology. So, how do D brains come into the picture? So, well, I mean, if you think are used to think about the differences or well, some manifolds in space time where open strings can end. Then uh, well for the for the deep brain to be at least in the bosonic case, we to be stable we have to assume that if we restrict our uh, H field to the deep brain, it should be exact. So globally we should be able to find the two form this curly F on from Q on our D brain. More precisely, we have to ask that not only in the Deram the homology the H is exact, but also in the Deram homology it is exact. So now we can play the same play again as we did before, because now if we take our local patch we had before and look at the intersection, okay, of course, if it intersects, but our good color our total so our space time distance also is covered on the on the <coughs> intersection. 
So if you look at the intersection of our local part of the deep plane, we see that uh, F minus, which is global, defined minus B alpha is closed, and this means that, uh, well, it is exact. So we have that our equivalent F is the sum of E plus B <coughs> A alpha. Well, and this is what we know. We know that on the deep plane, B plus F is uh, well defined. Now <coughs> you can. Well, it starts to be boring. <laughs> can go to the double intersection with the D plane, and now again to compare to this. But now this time you see that uh, on the well from here you see that. Uh, this is the same as B of A alpha minus A beta. And uh, before we had that this is the B of A alpha beta. Uh, so from here you can both conclude that uh, the difference of these two A alpha and A uh, uh, beta is A alpha beta plus a piece which is exact. Assuming the D is, uh, is on Q in the brain or is the D in the ball? Oh, it's still on, now on the thing. I'm, 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 everything is now in this intersection. Everything would I now write this well. Well, and finally, we go again to the triple intersection. And what we have is that, now again, adding these three times, <coughs> the sum of uh, A's, is the same as the differential of sum of the lambdas, but what we had before is also the same as the V of the lambda with three indices. <coughs> so from here we conclude that, again, this sum of three capital lambdas uh, minus the lowercase lambda with three indices must be, again, uh, uh, two pi times some integer. And if we exponentiate it, we have from here that now our, our G, our uh, check 2 cycle factorizes as a product of 3 size. So if I can summarize, I mean, at least in, symbolically, in this equation. So this is my Berlin 2 cycle, which I have on my space time. Now I restrict it to the deep brain, and what I get is well the Berlin differential of uh, well, this Berlin uh, cycle. No, oh, sorry, Berlin Berlin uh, Berlin coaching Berlin coaching plus uh, something trivial. Which contains only the global kind of this. Is the D covered the correct is actually line bundle? No, no, no. I mean, it's uh, more or less something what I. Uh, it, it's D in the double bundles, essentially. If you combine and check it, then um, where, where, do, where you do the bottom multiplication. So the D is the D in this double bundle. So what I can summarize it in, in this sentence that uh, the deep brain Q supports the trivialization of the jerk. So if I reduce my, my jerks uh, to, to my deep brain, <coughs> it's trivial. Now, so you can ask, uh, well, Anything interesting happens if uh, if this condition we asked for is not true. So you mm -hmm. can ask what happens if, uh, if I restrict my 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 D class H to the D brain, it will be not necessarily zero in the integral of homology, but well the next case is if it is a torsion class. So if n times for some integer n is zero in the integral of homology. Now so if you I to do what I did now, what it is is that now you have to replace xi and a with uh, something 
denoted by a twiddle, which now becomes not uh, u1 value, but un value. So now this style will be un value. Uh, and this will be our uh, algebra value, which is the a and the f. And of course, you have to take the, the non abelian So if you have nh equals 0 on q, what does but NH equals NH equals NH. Oh, I mean, in the integral, come on. Okay. So H uh, itself is it not uh, B of something. In the integral, come on. If you multiply it n times, it can happen. Because it's not really happening. So it's a torsion. So now, you, if you look at, at, at these formulas here, you see that uh, had been here this g, which is u unvalued, if this would have been 1, this psi would define a un bundle, and if there would not be this uh, u li algebra u unvalued a alpha beta, then the a triple would be a connection. So you see that now, what we have, and what we actually interpret as a stack of n d brains, is something what we can call uh, a twisted u n bundle. So if we have something almost like <laughs> u n bundle, but not completely, it is twisted by by the joint. Yeah, so in, in general, this uh, B field, when you have a B brain, like you said, it's part uh, of something that we can above. Yes. From a physics point of view. And plus something which is exact and lives only in the brain. Right. And is this reflective in its organism somehow? Oh, yeah, this was this curly F. Yeah, but uh, this is do you need to define something only on the brain and the rest of it only um, also in the bug? Or some uh, part of this B yes. need only be defined from the brain. Uh, right. It doesn't need to be globally. Right. Uh, I mean, I mean but, but I wrote what I said globally from the brain. So this F, this curly F, which was B plus B A alpha. Right? I have this curly F. This is defined only on the B brain. And still B of, of it is H. So so this is the, the piece of thing you are asking for on this. From this, right? So if you do to D to this curly uh, F, you can again H. So you can think uh, about this uh, F, this is B. My question is the piece of B defined on the brain. My, my question is more about the, this, for example, this H3 is defined on Q. Is this Q the whole space time? Or no, no, no. This is the restriction. Q is the B brain. So your, all your cohomology groups are the homology groups? Now, now I restrict you to the B brain. At the beginning, when I started only with the jerk, mm -hmm. uh, given by a form, this was on the whole space time. But now, I asked him what happens if I stick my, my, my jerks to the big brain. And the result is that this jerk gets trivialized when I stick to the big brain. This is probably the same question, but when you say H we take the Q, H has values in the forms over difference of forms over Q or difference of forms over both? No, H is a differential form. Uh, okay, so this is a pullback. If I say the restriction, it's a two. So H is defined on the whole space time, and if I write H restricted to Q, it's the pullback on the embedding of Q. You think on the brain? Yeah, yeah, then it lives on the brain.
So now you may ask for the why do we need this? So, so you see, uh, if we try to describe the string partition function, we find ourselves in this uh, situation. So we have the open string, this is the boundary which ends from the figurine. And uh, we want to make sense out of the expression which contains uh, in the path integral e to the sum e to the integral over the logic of the p and the trace of the volume <coughs> of the gauge field. <coughs> now, as we have seen, the, the gauge field on the d brain, if the h is non trivial, is not a true gauge field. So, I mean, we don't really know what the trace of the volume of a trivial means. And as well, b is not uh, globally defined on the, in the bow. So we don't really know what the integral of the b over the uh, sigma of the logic means. But now, so what we can do, we can do, first of all, we can, I mean, add a disk to the string logic uh, with the same boundary as the boundary of the logic. And uh, of course, then we have h. Uh, which we can integrate over the y, over the three sides. But next, what we do have? We, we do have our a twiddle, but now the point is that if we pull back our, our jab uh, to the disk, because the jab is something which is defined in terms of a, of a, of a third cohomology, so obviously if we pull back it to the disk, uh, we get something trivial. So we get a trivial jab, pulling it back on the d, and this means that we have also the A, which entered the trivialization of the jerk. So, and if you look to the formulas I had before in the two cases, where the jerk was trivial restricted on the, on the deep brain, or when it was a torsion, if you make up this combination A trivial minus A, or and B plus D A, you will realize that now B plus D A is uh, Global is defined on the disk, and uh, this will be the nice connection. And this makes perfect sense now. Now, a couple of remarks. Uh, so, what then? <coughs> this was for the bosonic state. So, the, the, the condition, the correct condition for the super string is that H restricted to Q must be the same as the third integral. Uh, Stickle linking class of the normal bundle to the Q. So, this is uh, so called fit written global anomaly. And in the partition functions, it comes from the Fachian of the work we are operating. This is a torsion class, this means two times the third written integral linking class is uh, zero. So, this is a torsion. Now, uh, well, we discussed only so far the case when, when our people in finding the jerk was a torsion. Now we, ask, we can ask what happens if it is a non-torsion. So, ultimate and Matai tell you you have to replace UN but by the unitary operators on the infinite dynamic uh, center. You can view also uh, jerks uh, in within obstruction. Uh, theory. So, if you look again to the formulas I gave for the cycles, you see that, for example, there was uh, the product of three side triples. Uh, right here. Uh, so, you see, if you if you now would take the project of the U1 out of these formulas. So you would end up in the projective unitary group. And uh, this would be 1, and this would be 0. And what you would obtain from here would be just the uh, projective UN bundle with the connection. So in this sense, you can think about the abelian jerk as being an abstraction to lift the projective UN bundle with the connection to the UN bundle. So this is the like we have this exact sequence of uh, the groups, and as I told you, if you start here with uh, 
a principal bundle with this lead group and you try to lift it, you get an obstruction which will give you an abelian bundle. This would be in the case of the torsion. In the non-torsion case, you would have to work uh, with the infinite Hilbert space separable. Or what is nice actually, since we are in string theory and uh, our space-time is dimension 10, then we can actually, for topological purposes, replace this exact sequence by this one, where now we have three groups everywhere. So this, this is the uh, loop group, or well, essentially base loop groups, and this is uh, the central extension. This is, this is the eight related at all to the eight within the space to make sense of the uh, turn time of form and, and that dimension? Oh, yes, yes. Well, this is actually here. Huh? Now you can ask what happens if you include higher terms. So, so, oh, <coughs> and this actually corresponds to it. Yeah. Uh, so you can ask, uh, well, we have a 4 g in M theory, so you can ask what, uh, whether we can use somehow a similar formalism to, to fit this one. Uh, and how, how then the higher the lean classes or higher terms would appear. So what you would like to do is uh, compare the two situations now. So what we had before, you can think of in, in type 2a, about the before, uh, the stack of before planes with the fundamental string and link on, on this. And now if the string moves, the end of the string well gives you one cycles and this you couple to your twisted connection. Now as I told you in the most general case you can think about this uh, the, the, the gauge group in the central extended phase groups of the A. And uh, so this is uh, connection with values in this V in the V algebra of D and it is twisted by an abelian one. Now you would like to go to M or stay within uh, to A type and you would consider the stack of M5 brains or correspondingly M5 brains and you will look at M2 brains or D2 brains attached to this. And again, if now the M2 brain moves, it will give you two co-cycle, then you would expect that this should be coupled now to some non-abelian people. And uh, so since you remember that we did interpret the abelian one form as a curly in abelian jerk, now we could think that this uh, non-abelian two form, which you would like up here, would be <coughs> a curling on, of a non-abelian jerk. Of course, I and mean, since we go from, we would like to also go back to uh, dimension reducing, we will take the same uh, time. So, to be able to, really to do this, we have to understand at least morally what the uh, anomaly cancellation condition is, which replaces the free reading from the case of the design. So naively you would think, oh, well, okay, fine, instead of H, we have now, now, now G, and well, we can go we go now with everything one higher, so <laughs> we go with the stiffel Whitney from the third one to the fourth one in the ground. Well, it's almost true, but not, not completely true in general. So in general, uh, still there is uh, some slightly more complicated description of the global anomaly. Uh, so this has two parts. One is again topological, which would correspond to this left hand side, which was discussed by Witten, and it appears that this is uh, torsion class in the fourth cohomology, integral cohomology on the on the five plane. And uh, if this is not zero, then uh, the partition function of the M5 gate vanishes, which indicates an anomaly. And that is the part which depends on background fields, on the metric and on the G, which was discussed by Fritz, Diabonesco, and Moore. And uh, now we can <coughs> consider, again, as we did in the case of the string, uh, the brain, the 
you can consider partition function, and it will again con contain two parts, the valve part and the part, the five plane part. And uh, the gauge invariance of the factors uh, asks for either this uh, topological uh, anomaly to vanish or, or if you want, differential geometry, so depending on background vanish. Uh, but still, uh, these factors can be not gauge invariant independently, but still the product can be, and this happens exactly then in the case if, uh, if these two uh, fourth points are equal. Uh, it's like already, but uh, you're good to say, oh, you mean it because you have a good time. Is that there is still no food. <laughs> <laughs> so if you are starting, it's not because of me. <laughs> no, this is the last transparency. So uh, just the, what the idea is. So now you can ask, again, what, what happens in the case if, if these two uh, anomalies are, are not the same? So what we can do? And uh, in this case, we can use uh, the following nice part, that uh, the, the fourth integral from homology on our five plane, because the dimension is, is small, <laughs> in mean six, so it is uh, in one to one with E8 bounds. So if you have uh, now your anomaly, which is the difference of these two uh, four forms, you, you can uh, hook up uniquely, I mean up to an equivalence, a principal bundle with the structure group PA such that this fourth form is exactly the first form the argument of us. M5 is sort of a simple bundle over M space time, is that? Sorry? M5 is the back part with a circle over M4? Uh, well, you can, you, you can do it. Yes. So I just wanted that circle play in the role in the topology. No, 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 not at all. It's it just because the amendment is small and the E8 has uh, vanishing homology. It has not the third one, but then the sixth one. So. Any other questions? Yeah, yeah. Yes, but, but then from, from the from the third homology uh, up to the sixth one, uh, the uh, So now what you can do is <coughs> you can take your E8 and uh, look up the exact sequence of, uh, of groups where these are base paths and these are base groups and you can ask, well, we did all that this before, we did try to lift uh, principal bundles. So you can ask whether you can lift this E8 bundle to, to path bundle and uh, well, there will be obstruction to it. Well, I didn't say what an abelian jerk is, but uh, this is the obstruction. So if you think about an abelian jerks, you can think as an example for this as something which uh, comes as an obstruction to lift bundles along the exact sequence of groups, where this is now an abelian one. So formerly the abelian one was the obstruction to lift it. Where this was abelian, now it's non abelian. So you can believe me to get something which deserves the name non abelian. <coughs> now you can take this non abelian jerk and you can try to lift this one now along this sequence where this is the central extension. And what you get is again obstruction. Now it will be something abelian because this is an abelian group. But since you are now lifting not the bundle, but already the jerk, so what you get is a two jerk. So this is how the abelian two jerk <coughs> And this abelian two jerk is exactly uniquely characterized by your uh, anomaly. So you see, this is the, the picture how, how non abelian jerks twisted by abelian two jerks can appear in this. Uh, Anomaly <coughs> cancellation mechanism by info for the M5 things. Of course, you can include also all the 
curvings, which I didn't discuss. And uh, among uh, these, you will have also your non abelian two gauge potential you were looking for. This is Euclidean, is it? Oh, yes. So the M5, I think of it, M4 times S1, for example. Yes, for example, yes. Yeah. And then if you, re if you reduce, uh, then, then you get exactly to the V4 uh, and then this thing. So to a billion project. Anyway, thank you. Deep brain volume, actually. 